Today's question comes from New York, from Tim. How can I get more accuracy on opportunity probabilities? Tim is asking this question because he's using the expected revenue report to create his sales forecast. And of course, he wants that forecast to be more accurate, especially given the circumstances that we're all currently in. The expected revenue report is it's an excellent way to create a robust sales forecast that will stand up to scrutiny. Here's how it works. The opportunity probability multiplied by the amount is the expected revenue. In a report, add up those expected revenue numbers for this month or next month, and you have a reliable sales forecast. But of course, it all depends on having a reliable and reasonably accurate opportunity probability to begin with. And unfortunately, very often, they're not. Opportunity probabilities don't always realistically reflect the chances of winning a deal. Now, here's one of the reasons why that is. In most CRM systems, including Salesforce, the probability is directly linked to the opportunity stage. Update that stage and the probability automatically changes. And the problem with that is that the opportunity stages reflect your selling process and not the customer buying process. So, for example, let's say there are four different companies bidding for a deal. They all have their opportunities at the discovery stage. And let's just say that's that's 25 percent probability in each case. And the four companies then submit their proposal and they advance the opportunity stage and the probability goes up, let's say, to 30 percent. So now we've got a total probability of 120% across the four companies. Clearly that doesn't make sense. So Tim, here's a couple of ways you can get more accurate opportunity probabilities in your business. The first is to manually change the probability. It's, it's as simple as that. But not everyone knows you can do this in Salesforce. You simply adjust the probability to an appropriate value based on your knowledge of the deal and the discovery work you've you've done with a customer. Of course, it's still not perfect because you can't read the customer's mind, but your judgment on each deal is very often likely to be better than the predetermined probability for each stage. In actual fact, opportunity probability is useful not just in expected revenue reports, but also in managing the sales team and the pipeline we have, a, we have a manager in one of our customers where the default probability for one stage is 50%. But he won't accept that. He says, I get that we've got a 50-50 chance of winning the deal, but sales reps have to manually adjust the probability to 49% or 51%. He says, you know, I want to know which side of the fence you're on. Now, on the subject of predetermined opportunity stage probabilities. It's absolutely worth checking and validating these with your salespeople from time to time to get a, a consensus on the default value for each stage. And shock horror, you could even ask a few customers what they think your opportunity stages should be and what the relevant opportunity probabilities should be. Now, here's something else. Usually, the chances of winning a deal are higher with an existing customer than a new customer. So you can reflect this in the opportunity probability. You could manually change the probability or you could create a workflow rule that automatically adjusts the probability based on the system's knowledge of whether this is a new customer or, or an existing customer. So there you go, Tim. There's a couple of tips that I that I think will help validate your existing default probabilities, manually change the opportunity probability on each deal based on your knowledge of that opportunity, and consider using a workflow rule to set different probabilities for, for example, existing customers versus new customers. Now, over to everyone else. I want to know what you think about opportunity probabilities and your tips for getting them more accurate. You can do this by leaving a comment just below 
and of course if you have a question that you'd like me to answer leave that in a in a comment as well and everyone please subscribe to our youtube channel right now stay safe and see you on tomorrow's video